Hey guys, what's up? It's Pazzy, and today I have another Thanksgiving DIY tutorial for you guys. But today I'm going to show you guys how to make cute little Thanksgiving gifts for people who you're thankful for this Thanksgiving. So let's get started. Starting with the first gift, some things you're going to need are some burlap ribbons, choice of ribbon color, name tags, you can make your own or you can also buy them at the store, some mason jars, some strings, and a hot glue gun. Starting with my burlap ribbon, I'm just going to measure that around my mason jar and then I'm just going to cut it off from where I measure it. And then just trimming off the side to make it look pretty. And then taking my orange ribbon, I'm just going to measure it right on my burlap and then I'm just going to trim that off as well. And then I'm taking a piece of my string and just measuring it out, cut it off, and then I'm just going to stick it right through that little hole in my name tag and set this to a side. And then with my hot glue gun, I'm just going to go ahead and measure my orange ribbon onto my burlap and place it wherever you want it. And then I'm just going to place a dab of glue on the ribbon and just glue them together. And now that I have the two piece glued together, I'm just going to re-measure it on my mason jar and see if I need to trim off any excess. Um, piece of the bird lab and the ribbon and it seems like I do so just trimming it away And then I'm just gonna place it right back on the mason jar and now it's ready to be glued onto the mason jar So we're just gonna go ahead and put a little dab of glue right there and then just glue right on top of each other Just like that And now I'm just going to glue these little um, circle that I cut off from my um, computer that I printed out. And um, pretty much it has instruction on how to cook um, the cake because in my mason jar it's going to have a cake mix in there as a gift. So I'm just going to hot glue it right on the lid. Here I have my cake mix. If you want the recipe it will be down in the description box below. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take a spoon and fill up my mason jar and oops it seems like my spoon is a little big. So switching spoon and now we're just going to go ahead and fill this whole jar with some cake mix in there. And this is a chocolate cake mix so um, like I said if you want the recipe it will be in the description box below. So my cake mix is finally in my jar and now I'm just going to go ahead and put my lid on and then the final step is to tie my tag and my string onto my jar and I'm just going to tie a little cute bow right in front of the jar. And it seems like my burlap ribbon is moving up and down and I want to secure it so I'm just going to add a dab of hot glue right on the back of it and just glue that on so that it won't move. And ta-da! All done. So a couple minutes ago, I showed you guys how to make this really cute gift with the cake mix inside there. And now I want to show you guys another way you can make it. Um, and we're going to make them in the smaller jars. That way um, you can just actually microwave the cake in the jar and eat it off right from the jar. So let's get started. You're going to need some mason jars. And I also cut out some circle for my lid and I said add one tablespoon of water because that's what the mix is calling for. And I made some homemade tag and it said I'm thankful for you and then you could just add their name on the bottom. And you're going to need a piece of construction paper, whatever color you like. Today I'm going to use orange. A glue stick, a glue gun, some ribbons, and a scissor, and of course some strings. Now starting with the name tag, I'm just going to place them on my construction paper and then I'm going to um, glue them on the construction paper. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut them out and then following the shape of the tag, I'm going to go ahead and cut like one or two centimeters off from the tag.
So after cutting them out, I'm just gonna go ahead and punch a hole at the top of the corner, that way the string can go through my tag. And now moving on to my lids, I'm just going to go ahead and place these little circles that I cut out. Like I said, it said add one tablespoon of water um, because my cake mix in my jar requires a tablespoon of water. And then you microwave it for one minute and then you have some cake. So we're just, just going to go ahead and add a dab of glue onto the lid and then just place that right on top. And repeat that step for all the jars. And now I have all my jars ready to go. So starting with my ribbon, I'm gonna go with the gold lace ribbon and I'm just gonna measure that around my jar and then I'm just going to put glue on it to hold it in place and then just go all the way around and then I will trim it off at the end. And then with my orange ribbon, I'm just going to place that right in the center of the um, gold lace ribbon and I'm just going to add a dab of glue right there and then put that right there just to hold it in place and then just circle it all the way around the whole jar again and then just um, trim it off with a scissor and then just hot glue it back on to hold it in place. And now you should have something that looks like this and it's super cute! And now my jars are ready to be filled up. So I'm using my chocolate cake mix that I used early in the video and I'm gonna do three tablespoons of the cake mix into the jar because that's what it called for. Um, so go ahead and do one, two, and three. And now to the final step, I'm going to take my string and then just poke it through the hole that I punched earlier in my cute little cards. And then I'm just going to cut it off and wrap that right around at the top of my mason jar and then tie a cute little bow at the front of it. And here we have it, our little cute gift. So here I want to show you guys how awesome and how cool this gift is and in this mason jar we have 3 tablespoons of cake mix and then 2 tablespoons of water, microwave it for 1 minute and you have chocolate cake. Now once the cake is done cooking in the microwave you can add ice cream or frosting whatever you like, um, decorate it however you like and it's such an amazing gift to give away to people who love cake or just um, a little sweet way to show people that you are so thankful to have them in your life this year. So I hope you guys like it.